All right, I got her idled up pretty high. Hear how the motor died down? I'm gonna take it for a ride and see how it acts. I got my water drain tube fixed with some JB weld. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, here's my thoughts on the air conditioning. We're going about 45. It's certainly bearable inside the car. And it doesn't kill the power enough that I'm gonna take the air conditioning out. We're pulling this hill all right. Third gear. Just up over the hill, no problem. One thing I have observed is very little wind noise. I don't think any in this car. First time I rode in it without the windows down. Anyways, I think it's a success. I'm keeping the AC. It's hot out. Engine temp's about 190. AC's at 65 if I'm reading that right. I got her idled up pretty high because it won't. If you idle her down, it quits charging. With the AC and that big fan running in the back. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do on the Model A today. I got other stuff to do. Look at the charging now. <laughs> Maybe we'll let her run them in. All right, so I'm working on the 46 a little bit. I finalized my horn mount. That's okay, ain't it? I like it. Now I'm figuring on the uh, air filter. You know, I got this air cleaner. I think I could get the air from the bottom, from the bottom to the turbo easy enough. But I'm worried that this old Atlas Refill A5 ain't gonna be enough for the big 7.3. So I'm considering that. I had a few thoughts. One is you could block this off and you can make this so it has one of them flat filters in the top but then that would take away from the whole look of the thing. You could just not have a filter at all in there and make this open and larger and have one come off the side or two but then I'd lose that, lose that super cool sticker. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I gotta think about it. I've been thinking on this a little bit, but I haven't come up with a solution yet. And like the one guy says, yep, I'm not a dummy, but I'm slow. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate the vote of confidence. All right, I found the little red rubber thing that used to go on the turbo, and it's kind of tore. Anyways, I gotta give this some thought and dig around and you know, we got parts in various places. I mean, we need to think on that. It's getting kind of late, so I think what I'm going to do is ask the young man to ring the bell. If he can reach it. Without stepping into that bucket of water. And I'm going to kindly ask y'all to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends, hit the notification one. Some people say they ain't been getting told about the videos. And it does help out. I think I'm going to try to pull either the Weiss 55 truck in here, which needs upper control arm bushings. People like that one. Or I might wheel a 57 Chevy in here and it needs a wheel bearing real bad. And uh, maybe you can put some disc brakes on it. And see what else I'm in the mood for. We're going to keep working on this, but not 100% of the time. Because he's got 100 years before he can drive. I have like four. 
Four? Yeah. Mm. Well, we got a little time, but if we ain't careful, there's still a lot left to do. Time will get away from us, so we need to keep keep crack a lacking. I gotta fix my mistake in there. Anyway, the end of the video is getting awful long, so, you know. Help me out. Hit the like button. Thank you.